And boy, what a dreary way to start the work. Yeah, I mean, we're getting the extra days, sunlight, yeah. but we need the sun. <laughs> this is Mitchell International Airport. And uh, Storm Team forecaster Michael Fish has been tracking fog and rain over the last couple of days. Sun? What's that? I know. <laughs> well, you know, daylight saving, it's going to be lighter later. Spring, what's Maybe that? not today. <laughs> and now, just to make things worse, you guys, we're talking about more snow. Don't worry, I'm not talking about a huge snowstorm, but still enough to bring a dusting or a little bit more to parts of Fond du Lac County right down 151. Now working its way into Dodge County and Washington County right now. But again, that not that heavy. It's moderate, just enough to lighten things up a bit. Like we really needed that. But here's the thing. Check out all this rainfall, by the way. This is just from yesterday. Over the past 24 hours, around another inch in Fond du Lac and Sheboygan. Sheboygan saw two inches just on Saturday. The rest of us between three quarters of a half an inch. Again, that's just yesterday. Now, because of all of this rainfall, of course, it has no place to go except in a lot of the local rivers. We have flood warnings for a couple local river rises that are reaching their flood stage. They're not major floods, but enough where it's catching the eye of the National Weather Service. Sheboygan, Ozaukee, Milwaukee, Kenosha, some of the rivers there going about up to flood stage. Speaking of which, it's a great picture from Port Washington. See all these bubbles? That's all the runoff from all the water inland starting to work its way into Lake Michigan. By the way, that's fine. We need more water in Lake Michigan. It's at historically low levels. This water is actually going to help us going into spring. I know there are some of you who are saying, uh, what are you talking about? My sump is going crazy. 32, our current temperature in Port Washington right now. Hey, by the way, the rain was fine because look at this stripe right about here. Eau Claire to Rhinelander, about eight inches of snow. It was real skinny as far as the snow band, but still, that was a lot. 41, the average high. Uh, not quite at average as far as today. Look at the colder air filtering in behind the system. Once again, we're going to keep temperatures below average. They're below average right now. 33 Fond du Lac, 32 in Beaver Dam. Here's kind of where that snow band is. So if it is accumulating on any of the roads, the salt work is going to work great. It's 36 in Milwaukee. Now, satellite radar, it's this low pressure uh, that's bringing in this final little batch of snow. Quick look at our Doppler HD radar one more time from Fond du Lac, down 151. This is moderate to light snow falling in those areas. So we'll be watching that as we head through the evening hours. Now, as far as future forecast is concerned, this low finally pulling away, but still on the back side of it, going through tomorrow, could see a stray snow shower or flurry. Nothing that's going to ruin your day. You'll also notice the winds picking up. So for tonight, a couple of flurries or snow showers, depending on where you live, any accumulation would be light. And then tomorrow, just a chance of a couple of snow showers. And then for tomorrow night, maybe a few flurries. And then Wednesday, breezy and cool. Holy cow, it's going to be dry. Can you believe that? And then for Thursday right now and Friday looking okay. 43 Friday, seeming like a heat wave compared to what we've been dealing with. Then the weekend could see a little rain or snow on Sunday. But right now, you guys, no huge snow systems rolling on through. But I'd still like the temperatures to be a little bit warmer than that. Mm -hmm. This is kind of cool and gloomy. I'd like to retire the shovel. I'm yeah. just saying. Yes. <laughs> That'd be nice.